I just got from Sephora. Um, it has some really great lipstick in here that I cannot wait to try out. Is that out. that new Kat Von D processor? Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, bitch on wheels. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about when it comes to makeup anyways. Well, you have your choice. All the cheap stuff. <laughs> you have your choice here. What's Why the difference? Sephora. Oh. Sephora. Or last year's Sephora. <laughs> I, I like how you're putting it in layman's terms for me. <laughs> Nice little haul. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I'm just gonna run out the door. <laughs> All right, so before we start talking about the parts that we're gonna be using in this build, uh, in order to fully appreciate how significant this upgrade is, uh, let's take a brief look at the PC that Kayla has been using up until this point. So you may remember in the previous episode when Kayla sort of mentioned that uh, she kind of stole the, the PC from her husband. And it's a custom-built PC that he put together back in 2008. And it is sporting an i7-920, which at the time was actually a pretty amazing chip. And it's gotten her by up to this point. Um, it's, it's actually pretty impressive that for the better part of the past three years, she's been able to stream... Um, with that older chip, albeit, you know, many things uh, were bottlenecked and there were certain things she couldn't do, but still, um, it worked all right. So there's definitely no question that Kayla was due for an upgrade, especially because she's streaming and she's wanting to get more into sort of uh, content creation and video editing. So yeah, long overdue in, in that regard. Now one more disclaimer I want to put on the video before I start getting into the list of parts that were chosen for the build. I promise you that careful consideration was taken in choosing these parts. I realize that there are other options out there, some better options, some worse options, but several discussions were had in making sure that we used the budget um, the best way that we could. Also, some of this build was sponsored by me, so don't think that, you know, budget was allocated to a lot of these custom components when they could have been put into the performance of the machine. Uh, we definitely maxed out the budget the best that we could. Uh, I think we put to together a, a very nice and very well performing machine. She's been using it for several weeks now at the time of filming this. It's been working out great. Now starting with the main components, uh, we decided to go with Intel's latest Core i7 7700K. Uh, this is an amazing chip. It's an amazing value as far as an all-around chip goes. Not only is it a very fast chip, which comes in handy for gaming, but it also handles workloads very well. For the motherboard, we went with the MSI Z170 Empower uh, Titanium motherboard, mostly because it fit the theme as far as being a silver motherboard. But aside from that, it's an amazing motherboard. It's, it's packed with features. Um, it has excellent build quality. Um, and again, to reiterate, this thing looks amazing and you guys will see that it suits the build very well. So for memory, we just went with a simple Crucial Ballistic Sport kit. Uh, it's a two by eight, 16 gig kit of DDR4, 2400 megahertz that we overclocked to 2666. Uh, we did discuss potentially using 32 gigabytes of RAM, but with the recent increase in price of memory, we decided that 16 for now was gonna be fine. Uh, fortunately, it's very easy to throw a few more DIMMs in there uh, in the future whenever she's ready to take the jump from 16 to 32 gigabytes. 
Now for the graphics card, we decided to go ahead and just stick with the GTX 980 that she's already been using. Uh, originally, she thought that she wanted to purchase a GTX 1070, which definitely would have been an upgrade over the 980. However, uh, I kind of talked her into just sticking with the 980, considering that she's only gaming at 1080p, 60 hertz right now anyway, and the $400 that we would have spent on a 1070, we were able to use in other areas. In the end, um, I think it was the right choice. The GTX 980 should serve her well for at least a year or two longer until she's ready to upgrade her monitors, and then at that time, we can easily slap in a new graphics card. Now for storage, our SSD is a 250 gigabyte Samsung 840 EVO. And then for mass storage and games and that sort of thing, we went with a uh, Western Digital two terabyte uh, WD Black Drive. So for the power supply, we went with the EVGA Supernova 650 G2. Uh, 650 watts is going to be plenty for this system and I'm a big fan of the EVGA power supplies because of the quality and the fact that you get a nice warranty along with it as well. Now one component that turned out to be sort of a bonus considering it wasn't part of the original idea for the build, but by sticking with her GTX 980 she freed up some money in the budget to go ahead and pick up a better capture card. So we went with the Elgato HD60 Pro which is going to be a significant upgrade over the USB um, pass-through version that she had been using previously. By going with a PCIe-based capture card, um, not only, like I said before, were we able to get uh, better quality from the pass-through when she's streaming console games, but it's going to put less strain on the CPU by not having to go through the USB 3.0 interface. And last but not least, all of these components are going to be going into the absolutely gorgeous Fantex Enthu Evolve ATX Tempered Glass Edition. And then I think it goes without saying that silver was an obvious choice considering the overall theme of the build and after all this is for the Silver Fox. So that pretty much wraps it up for this episode guys. I know this may not have been the most educational or exciting video. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a little bit of insight into the parts that we chose for this build. So the next episode is essentially just going to be a build log. I tried my best to shoot as much video as I could sort of at multiple stages along the way as I was doing this build to sort of share my experience with you and kind of show you everything that went into uh, putting this rig together um, as far as decision making process, some of the changes that I had to make along the way, you know, anything that might be interesting when it comes to putting together this type of build. Now I'm expecting that episode to be a little bit longer based on the amount of content that I captured, but I'm hoping you guys are into it. But until then, as always, I appreciate you guys visiting my channel. Your feedback and support definitely means a lot to me, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.